Hey, up. Oh. Right, I know I've mentioned this before, but emails, contact on Messenger, the comment section on this channel. It's a full time job now. Seriously, if I could afford it, I would employ someone and they could sit on a computer eight hours a day doing that and nothing else and it would keep them busy but i can't afford it and i don't have anyone doing that and the reason i'm mentioning it is because there's an excuse coming up over the years i've reviewed quite a lot of different items of luggage for motorcycles and a frequent request that i've had in the comments section is for me to review uh, luggage from Long Ride. Now, Long Ride is not a company that I'm familiar with, and I seem to remember I did look into it a couple of times. I had a look at the website, but you know, I'm busy, and other things got in the way, and it never really happened until I think it was about six months ago. Long Ride left a comment in the comments section on one of my videos, and I can't even remember which video it was now. There's over 500. Anyway, this comment jogged my memory, and I finally sort of emailed them. They responded quite quickly, and we set up a sort of a dialogue. Now, to cut a long story short, I made a bit of a hash of it. I thought I'd replied to emails, and I hadn't replied to them. Other things got in the way on the channel and it dragged on for months and months and months until finally we came to the conclusion that probably the best bet was for them to send me some items of luggage along and I'd use them on the recent Dales trip. But this all happened so late in the day that the luggage actually arrived while I was away so I didn't get a chance to use it on the trip, which is a shame. And I can only apologise to Long Ride because, you know, it is my fault really. And they do actually make some rather good luggage. Now, luggage for a motorcycle is particularly important. It's one of the most important accessories that you need to consider. If you're touring, you need to carry clothing and other bits and pieces with you. Even if you're just out on a day ride, you need to carry something with you, even if it's just a spare pair of waterproofs. And like a lot of people, I like to use my bike to go and do a little bit of shopping as long as I'm not buying too much. And you need something to be able to carry stuff around or else motorcycles are not as practical as they could be. Now, there is plenty of luggage around, but the particular problem that you encounter when you're riding modern classic motorcycles is the style of the luggage and the materials that it's made from. Now, granted, it's all a matter of taste. Some riders don't have any, and they're quite prepared to put anything on the bikes. And I think I just said that out loud, which is going to provoke some comments. Okay, I'll rephrase it. Some of us, when it comes to choosing luggage, like to choose something that's in keeping with the style of the bike. It's a modern classic motorcycle, so you want luggage with modern performance, but it's got to have a classic look about it. It should be made from classic materials, wax cotton, oiled leather. The luggage needs to complement your bike, not stick out like a sore thumb has been obviously something that just doesn't look right. Now, when I got the T120, what, five, six years ago, this was an obvious problem. There was a distinct lack of that kind of luggage on the market. And to be honest, even now, the choice isn't huge, although it is growing year on year. And I have to say, I've had a look through Long Ride's repertoire of products on their website, and now I've actually seen it in the flesh. They are most definitely a company worth considering if you're looking for classically styled luggage for your modern classic motorcycle. <laughs> should make it clear I didn't pay for this luggage. Long Ride sent me a set of panniers and a duffel bag but any opinions that I express in this video will be my own opinions and Long Ride have not coaxed me in any way as to how my content in this video should be presented. I found them to be really nice people actually. Good grief we're over five minutes in and I haven't got onto the luggage yet let's get on with it. Now a lot of luggage in this category tends to have a sort of a west coast American feel to it which is an understandably popular look. I like it. 
But Long Red is a European company and there's no doubt about it, the luggage has a very classic European feel to it. Now I'm not going to show you the duffel bag in this video because to be quite honest I was so impressed with it I decided that the two different items of luggage deserved their own videos. So if these panniers float your boat keep an eye open for that sometime in the next few weeks. Now I'm seeing this creeping into soft luggage more and more. I think Lomo were the first company that I saw to use it and that is a very adaptable universal mole system for fastening it onto your bike. Which is very appropriate for these super patriot panniers because they are without a doubt styled on sort of old military motorcycle dispatch panniers. They're a real top design and they have a capacity of between 20 and 30 litres. Depending on whether you have them folded right down like you see here or whether you have them fully expanded and I'll show you that in a moment. Now this little mole system on the back is constructed totally from thick cowhide with very thick and strong leather straps. Now underneath it has a webbing strap that secures using a speed buckle and I think this is basically to stop your panniers flapping about when you know they don't have a lot of weight in them and all in all this mole system gives you an adjustability of height of a total of 11 centimeters which is quite a lot when you're fastening luggage on a bike now I went for the super patriot which is a larger version in this particular pannier range I think they have two pannier ranges because as I said earlier on it was my intention to use these for my Dales trip but if you found this is a little bit too large for you the do do the mini Patriot which does appear to be of a useful size but is substantially smaller now the French are lovely people and I won't have a word said against them and the main body of this bag is made from a very tightly woven 20 ounce cotton canvas made in France by those lovely French people. Now I believe Longrad is a Belgian company and they've combined this very high quality French waxed cotton canvas with an equally high quality Belgian leather. Now when I first opened the package with these in there was a very distinct aroma of linseed oil. And you may think it's rather sad that I know this, but this tells me that the wax treatment used on this leather and on this canvas is a very effective yet old school method of dressing these sort of materials in order to provide water resistance. It is very effective and it's very long lasting, but the drawback with it is that during the manufacturing process, it takes quite a long time for this stuff to dry, which is why most wax cotton companies tend to use more modern solvent based materials. Now you can interpret that any way you like, but it does demonstrate to me that Long Ride is a company that pays attention to detail and that they value the traditions of this sort of industry, which is not something you see very often these days. I mean, even Barber use very modern wax dressings using a high solvent content so that it dries quickly. Now as I've said this is a real top design but what marks it apart from other types of luggage in this category is that it has a zip fastener at the top. Now there's two ways of looking at this because it can be an advantage and it can also be a disadvantage. The advantage is, of course, that you can literally fill this bag up to the top and then just zip it up without using the roll top fastening system. Something that is impossible with most luggage of this type. But this does create a possible or potential disadvantage. And I hasten to add that I've not actually tested it, so I can't say for certain, for water ingress at the top corners of the bag while the bike is in motion if you're caught in heavy rain. Now I think the danger of this is minimal and I think you would have to be caught in pretty torrential rain long term for that to actually happen. But the possibility is there. However, and again I will demonstrate these to you in the next video, Longrad do also sell 
a waterproof internal liner to go in these bags sold separately. Now, these bags are fully lined with what I think is some sort of nylon material. I'm not 100% sure. So on blisteringly hot days when this wax reliquifies, you don't have to worry about it getting on your clothes or whatever you have in your luggage. Now, inside the bags, you will find a seat strap and some cord. These bags do require a horizontal tube of some sort in order to affix them to your bike. And I believe the cord is there if you need it to stop the actual bags themselves from sliding backwards and forwards on whatever rail you're using, should you need to use it. It's there if you want it. Now, this mole fastening system is supremely universal, and it's all very well me showing you it on the bullet pannier rack, which, to be honest, will allow you to fit just about any luggage. It's that good. But I also wanted to demonstrate just how versatile these panniers are in that they can be fitted to just about any bike. You'll find one of those seat straps in each of the panniers, and you can either throw these over the top of the seat or providing your seat is removable you can fix them underneath the seat for a bit of added security. They're designed to integrate with the mole system while still retaining the height adjustability. Now if you have pannier guards or pannier rails you will be able to lower them substantially as long as they don't touch the exhausts. But if you don't have pannier rails and you don't want to get your luggage tangled up in your rear suspension or your back wheel, you can sort of wear them high. Obviously there's going to be some sort of suck it and see trial and error to get a good stable and positive installation but once you've got it sussed I believe you can use these panniers on just about any bike and just to prove that I thought I would have a go at the Triumph Bonneville Bobber Black because it is notorious for being difficult to mate up with luggage due to that rather unconventional rear suspension setup so even if you have a set of stainless Moton Pannier rails, it's still a challenge getting luggage to go on them because most soft luggage just won't stay in place. A safe, secure and steadfast fit with these Patriots, however, is a piece of cake. In fact, fitting them on the bobber was easier than the other two bikes. And once these bags are installed, they're going absolutely nowhere. Now, don't forget these are the sort of large Super Patriots. The Mini Patriot may be a more suitable choice for any of the Bobber models. Although the Super Patriot is perfectly usable as long as you don't put too much weight in it. Now, believe me, I get about 20 emails a day from various different companies trying to persuade me to review their products on this channel. But I'm very picky and the majority of them never make it onto your screen. I don't publish reviews unless I'm 100% certain that I can recommend a product and I can definitely recommend these long ride panniers. I will of course leave a link in the video description down below to the page for these panniers on long rides website and I would like to express my gratitude to long ride for their patience in dealing with me. Once again thank you so much for watching this video and in doing so helping to support this channel I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it really does help me out. I am, of course, going to be back next week, so until then, if you're still riding, please ride safely, and I'll see you soon.